let's see what i will get in this live thoughts guarantee let's see who i'll get uh, i don't think he's gonna be a player with free play stars because it is hard to get but come on come on i want to see something good b -Sack? let's go let's go ah that's actually good man i got this card hello welcome to my channel today i packed live thoughts jan rl b sick and he's six foot five which is very tall for center back high high work rates three star skimmers three star weak foot right footed and he can play on the center back and let's see his buy type for sure it is tall and stocky and let's see his play style. so he has jockey block relentless power header long ball pass intercept bruiser and then aerial and that's chemistry straight shadow chemistry because you increase his pace which is important right now for this age of the game and also you boost his defending as much as possible and also increase his interception because he needs because he is tall and also his intercept pressure and why not you should increase as much as possible his interceptions and as this action for sure i'm gonna play this card default and let's see how good is this youngster center back from inter let's see how it feels in game okay the high presence kind of doesn't make him that agile in the game but it's not bad it's not bad it's decent it's decent but the high presence it is not so bad. nice tentacle you see why the high matters guys because he has reached to tentacle let's see his shooting ability wow good turn i didn't miss it mm-hmm let's try again come on header that was decent decent but it could be better header again and it's a bar no way good interception the reach has good reach nice good interception by ai defending let's see this time if he can score header this time header man has good power header but why he doesn't score nice jockey i like it let's see header no way nice good interception i like it i like it i like how he push himself to get the ball and it's a penalty and let's try to score with b sec 70 penalty with this card let's go on the left and he goes on the left, but he goes on the right. And the nah. And the nice. He pushed him. Go ahead again, and he goes by himself there, which I like it. I like his depending air uh, guys. Good block nice nice block nice jockey and he pushed the player well good interception again and it's a penalty again let's see if i score again with b -Sack. Okay, this is the last time. If I score this, I will win. But if not, then I will not. Come on, come on. This time you should score. 
Yes, I scored again with him. Let's go. Nice and tackle. That was responsive. Good block. Oh, that was actually good position for him. Nice jockey again. I like it. I like it. Good pace, but the balance kind of lose a bit sometimes because again, the high presence in the game. He reacted quite well as air defending. Nice header. I played in 3 matches with this card and the work rates it is not spent the game. Any game sets, his pace, let me tell you that he is fast, he is fast, but sometimes he gonna get uh, dragged because of the high presence in the game. That's why you're gonna see him slow the game because of the high presence but he's actually fast in the game his passing stats is good the short pass long pass it is actually very good on this card the db stats the high presence doesn't make looking that good his agility and balance in the game but he is responsive and also he's quite cold on the ball but don't dribble with this card please don't dribble with him because um he's not that good and about his defending stats, with this playstyle pluses that I see here, jockey playstyle and block playstyle were not small, the intercept was not small, and also the bruiser playstyle on this card. Um, the headers, it is powerful, but the currency, you should green time with him if you want to score uh, many headers with this card. And sometimes with interceptions, I kind of feel like he kind of needs both because in three times happens to me to switch to him, and he should intercept that ball, but he didn't, and the ball gets behind him. And also the defending eye good, is good on this card, he positioned well. The physical on this card, his strength is good, and also he does win every time headers. Just listen, he will not win every time headers. And aggression is, is, is decent, but he needs boost there to become even better, to help the jockey playstyle and also the bruiser playstyle in the game. And for the value, I want to see how much he is on the value. Hmm, I think he's gonna be like 200k this card. Yeah, I think he's gonna be 200k this card in the future or even less if he gets uh, more players on him. But I think uh, they have chance to get 2 plus upgrades in there. In the game, in four matches, they have time to win two games and also to score eight goals. Yep, and he will become even best this card. And as still is for sure, I'm gonna give this card an ST. I quite enjoy with him. And about the comparison, is Bisek better than Bastoni? The 90 showdown, yes, but the 91 evolution showdown, no, he's not better than. Bastoni, he's not better than Bongiorno because of the playstyles and that's why I would say that Bongiorno is better than Bisek right now in the game but if he gets one plus upgrade for sure he's gonna become better than Bongiorno in the game but then, but then Bastoni, I don't know, we're gonna see how huge upgrade will become over one plus upgrade and also he is better than Cordoba it's just that um Cordoba is more responsive than him in the game when it comes to interception because of intercept placed on the game. That's all. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like. Have a good day and see you next time.